Hey guys, what is going on? Rodrigo here with the Noobs, and today I'm going to show you how to fully upgrade your robot helper friend, Klaus, in the brand new Cold War Zombies map, Mauer the Totem. So let's get straight into it. First and foremost, we need to construct Klaus in order to upgrade him. So I'm going to quickly recap how to do that now. If you do want a more detailed guide on that, then click the link to our guide in the pinned comment. If you know this bit already, then just skip ahead to the upgrading section. We can construct Klaus by obtaining the satellite dish, which can be found in the piles of rubble and ash near the pack of punch machine. Keep searching through the rubble and you'll eventually find it. This dish is also needed for upgrading Klaus later, so it is good to get it early. While you're at the pack a punch machine, get brain rot for your weapon. Then head up to room 305 in the hotel, near to where the match starts, and shoot a zombie to brain rot them. Opening this door and inside, grab the robot hands. Next, we need to get to level 10 and kill the Krasny soldat that spawns so we can get the battery that he drops. We've now got all we need to construct Klaus, and you can do so by approaching him in the safe house room and hitting your action button. As soon as you've constructed Klaus, navigate him to this locker in the train control room, and he will smash it open to reveal a black light. We're going to need this later, so it's smart to get it early. Depending on how long this takes, Klaus may need to recharge. So the first thing we need to do to upgrade him is to head to the garment factory room and attach that satellite dish that we picked up earlier to his upgrade station. We then need Klaus again. Now, as we're going to be in this room a lot, head outside onto the roof and activate Klaus via the radio here instead of returning to where he lives. Navigate him into the garment factory room, and if this screen is green with a smiley face, then we can direct Klaus in front of the machine and he will start the first upgrade. If the smiley face is a sad one and it's red, then what it means is he needs to get more kills. It's easiest to direct him into this room, so as soon as he's got enough kills and that screen turns green, you can then pop him into the machine to start the first upgrade. You then need to protect Klaus for one minute while he upgrades, so make sure to kill all zombies around him to prevent them from damaging the machine. Once the minute is up, you'll have upgraded Klaus to level 1 of a possible of 3 upgrades. Next, we need to find 2 key cards, and they are located in 2 of 6 boxes around the map. Now, this is where that black light comes in handy, because next to 2 of the 6 boxes, we'll be able to use the black light to see if Klaus's face appears next to it. Wherever we see the face are the 2 boxes that have the key card inside. The six box locations are as follows. Number one, the maintenance tunnel near where Klaus recharges. Number two, the ghost station area on the platform near the maintenance tunnel. Number three, near the tank on the side of the Packer Bunch machine in West Berlin Street, directly below where the Wonderfizz machine is. Number four, still on West Berlin Street, up the rappel opposite the area where the Wonderfizz machine is in the blasted sweep room. Number five, in the hotel lounge near the stamina up machine. And finally, number six, in the fifth floor apartments close to the starting location on the map. Rather than dragging Klaus and his limited availability around to each box, just take a look at each of them to find the two Klaus faces. And when he's ready, direct him to the box that you need. He'll smash it open and reveal the key card. To reiterate here, there are two key cards that you need and so you'll have to find the second one and repeat this process. He will smash open all of the boxes if you want him to, but obviously four of the six boxes won't have what you need. Next, direct Klaus back to the garment factory and to the upgrade machine, at which point he should jump in. You'll then need to start the upgrade with your action button, essentially inputting one of the two floppy disks. He'll then upgrade to level two. Now, be careful here as this room is very tight with a lot of zombies, and you are not able to instantly upgrade Klaus to level 3, as the machine needs time to cool down. So loop around for a bit until Klaus can recharge, and call him again from the radio on the roof near the garment factory room. Then follow the same step by calling him to the machine, 
inputting the final floppy disk, and hey presto, your Klaus is now fully upgraded in the form of Ronald Reagan. He's super powerful at this stage with a pack of punched assault rifle, and he can really help you in later rounds. Klaus will also revive you in co-op or solo matches, so he's a big help to have around. That's all you need to know. If this video helped, please do consider subscribing to help us reach our goal of 1k subs. Take care guys, I'll catch you in the next one.